holy tidings, crusaders, a blood glorious eve to thee and thine. May the light of the blessed moon turn thy back pains to back gains. May thy children explode into piles of shining gold to allow you to buy stronger, more obedient children. Or perhaps a loincloth made of rattlesnakes, whichever would stress you out less. I am here with a brand new teaser demo for Resident Evil Village, or Resident Evil 8 Idge. However, Capcom are demanding we mangle the English language for them, thereby giving their script writing department a well-deserved break. And, uh... I, I don't know what to expect from this one. I've tried to remain as ignorant as possible about it, but still unavoidably have caught glimpses of the terrifying hormonal juggernaut that is the internet, fetishizing an enormous vampire woman that appears somewhere in it. And uh, look, I, I get it. It's, it's locked down. We're all cooped up. We're all going a little stir crazy with our baser desires clawing away at us. Better this than the vacuum cleaner. I feel you. But I implore you, my crusaders, remain pure, remain chaste, remember your vows, no banging vampiric giants. And if you absolutely have to entertain that deranged fantasy, have the common decency to face away from your tent body while you're doing it. Away! Do you- I do not want to be roused from my sacred slumber again to break up fights between apologetic looking knights with no pants on and enraged looking knights swinging haymakers with one hand and scraping rogue winky beans out of their eyebrows with the other. Let's begin. Right, where have we landed here? Oh god, look at this. It was Christmas Eve, babe. In the drunk tank! It wasn't me! It was a T virus. It was a T virus what made me smash up the jukebox. It was a T virus what made my pants fall down. I lost weight from. From the, the virus. Can't a man lose weight in this country? Help! Police! I'm being held hostage by other more neglectful police. Save my moldy rusk and tin cans for later. Who knows how long I'm gonna be- Hello! What have we- A scrap of paper! Thank God! I can very slowly slash my wrists. It's an old scrap of paper buried in the wall. I think someone left a message. That's- oh god, it's an alienese. Can we- yeah. To whomever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you'll have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of this cell. Look around for the way, get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you'll need to escape. It will be hidden where the least suspect, soaked in blood. Once you get out of the dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. The door there won't lead to salvation. The light will lead you down the right path. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere. Once you find the ladder, the only way is up, but watch out. Don't let them see you. I plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you too make it out alive. A guide to escape in this dungeon, written by somebody who hasn't done it yet. Fucking invaluable. Can I throw it down the toilet? No. No. Right. Get down on your hands and knees, says the note. And like a good little Orwellian piggy, we must obey. Here is your reward, piggy. Here it is, that bacony thing. Hope, freedom, or so it appears. To what end? On what length of leash is one free? From one cell to another. One disappointment to the- Oh, fuck me. The door's open. Hooray! Yay! I won the dungeon! Out here we got some torture acts and, uh, some drugs. Vampires or junkies, what are we in for here? Did you steal these torture devices from other, more reputable maniacs for smack cash? Well, these are medicines for keeping livestock alive. We should really take some with us. Can't count the amount of times I've passed dying cattle in a Resident Evil game and been absolutely powerless to save them. Practically a trope by this point. Ah, look, it's the old. We need the bolt cutters, I'll bet you. The bolt cutters have followed us over from Resi 7. Vital equipment. You came to the Resident Evil Village without your bolties? What were you thinking? Is this your first time at the village or something? Where are you staying? Raccoon City Resort or Arclay Mansion Resort? What? Ganado Land? Ha! 
<laughs> you budget holiday peasant. That's a self-service breakfast penny earner. Self-served enough for you. I pay thousands of pounds a night to stay in a marginally larger room than you. Hey, look, this, this one's got a bucket and straw and everything. What, did I not deserve straw? Fucking vampires. You know, you ladies could take a lesson in courtesy from Count Dracula. Shit. Did you hear that? Is it? Are you, are you bringing my straw down? And my toilet bucket? Can I have this one? I'm sure there'll be blood in it for you after I shit out my tin can dinner. I must be missing something here. These bolts. What the blood sucking fuck? Yay! Bolt cutters! Well found, Grandma. The old saying's true, isn't it? It's always the last place you look. You cut. Ah! You. Oh, just, oh, look at that. It's nothing to be afraid of, gang. It's just baby vampires hibernating for winter in their death shroud cocoons. Why, well, this little fella's probably been having fitful dreams about feasting on a rural hamlet, shaking himself loose off the ceiling, is all. Well, he's rat food now. Circle of life, Crusaders. Rule of nature. I'll not interfere. What's in the blood bucket? Hepatitis? Ah, the lockpick. Also from Resident Evil 7. I think this might be the exact same model from what I remember. Marguerite Baker and the Brides of Dracula shop at the same DIY place. What a Jesus Christ, what was that? No liquors, please. No thank you. This place is unsanitary enough without getting death frenched by an inside out Jaguar monkey. Let me in. We'll ride it out in here with Henry Half a Dude Crusaders. You don't mind, do you, Henry? You ain't using the floor. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me, Henry. How did you hang yourself? I don't... Where's the stool? Look at his insides. He's made out of vulcanized rubber. Like the Michelin man. Remember where he is, gang. We might need an eraser later. Whatever's on the other side of that barricade appears to have worn itself out now. Let's leave him to it. Is this the open door lever? Or the release vampires lever? Or oh, both! Bye. Oh, they shut the lights off when I left. How very frugal. Ah, oh, look at this. It's the great refund war of Resident Evil 6. Return to us our gold, ye old gaming shoppeth. Nay, serfs. Thou hast already used the online code. Here's some barrels of blood. That's actually really responsible with this coronavirus going around, isn't it? Stockpile as much as you can. Fewer shopping trips. If the living dead can do their part, so can you. Fucking hell, this one's got hands. Don't high five it, no matter how much it begs you. You'll be indentured to the Barrel King for the rest of your days. Dance Macabre. Oh, they got the bangers on in here. Da -na 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 -na. This stinks so bad it came out of a dude. Da -na -na -na. Would it kill you to chuck some garlic in there? Would it? Would it literally kill you? Countess Bloody Fangs, would it turn you to ash to open a damn window in here? Ah, look at this. Another hole in the wall. Another. You want to put some of your torture me dudes on eBay? Spring for some repairs in this shithole, I'm telling you. This looks. That looks like a load bearing wall to me. It's, ladies, I'm not trying to bargain for my life or anything there, but I got me a sack of concrete in the back of the van. You wanna just let me run back and get it real quick? Countess Lankula, I've got door handles in there too. I can fix one on the wall there for you. Must be fucking murder crouching down to hit that hidden brick every time you wanna come through here. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. 
The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't buy it. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, but that, that was like back in the 50s. I'm sure they've mellowed out a bit now. And who among us has not slashed our manservant's face with a knife for making a mistake? It's how poor people learn. I mean, that is blood all over this ladder. I can remember many a time when my pet meanie or bogs would be climbing my own ladder in an indecent manner, and I would have to set upon him with a straight razor. Climb it again, bogs! I would shriek, slashing this way and that. Climb it in a manner that is not unsightly to the Lord God! And so on and what have you. And of course, it took poor old bogs many long hours to finally retrieve the children's ball from the shed roof. And they didn't want it in the end, so covered with blood and tears it was. But by the end of the day, Boggs could climb a ladder with two Bibles in each hand and a broken ankle. So, you know, the police, the police did nothing. This is nice in here, isn't it? I mean, it's nice. It's, it's gaudy as shit, but compared to where we... God damn, these vampires walk loud. Boom, boom, boom. That a row or something? Come on, ladies. Don't fight over me. Fight over Wesker. He's got the good blood. Fight over Barry. Put Barry in Resident Evil Village, you cowards. Chris had his time to shine in Resi 7. Get Barry down here. It's Forrest. Oh my god. No, Barry. This is a house. A house. One eye is just an empty socket. See, this is exactly where Barry would come in handy. I have this. No, Barry. Get the keys away from your eyes. Whoops! Now I've done it! Bring Barry back. You'll not get a penny in pre-order money from me until it's confirmed. Well, nothing upstairs. So it looks like we're good to go down into the entrance hall. I heard a vicious rumor that I'm still playing as Ethan in this from Resi 7. Is that true? <laughs> All right, don't fucking laugh at me. It's a simple question. God. You know what I really can't stand about vampires is the rudeness. The lack of manners. Candidates. Irina, Mahalia, Lois, Rejects, Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camellia, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Leod, Miller, Rosalinda, Lena, Stefana, Gabriella. Well, at least I'm not in the rejects list. Ethan's still in with a chance, baby. Ethan's still got a shot. Yeah, fucking hell, that's nasty. You've been alive hundreds of goddamn years. This is the best tea set you can find. Revolting. This is Ethan. I'm a big fan of his new approach to shutting the fuck up and never speaking ever. What an improvement. Most improved protagonist. Uh-oh, the window's open. Somebody's getting slashed across the chops for that. <laughs> oh, man. These ladies like to eat, don't they? This is like the third or fourth room I've been in with snacky plates of viscera and kibble or cups of blood or what have you. Mind you, I suppose they are like 11 feet tall. Take some sustenance to keep them going. Have you ladies considered adding chia seeds to your diet? They're, they're really something. They, they actually absorb water as you digest them, which helps make you feel less hungry. Real, real superfoods, so they say. Come on, I need an eyeball for your dumb eyeball door bitches. And, I don't know, a key or a magic word for the rest of them. Why are you locking everything up so tight? Don't you trust the torch world in villages? These are like the clothes I'm wearing. 
<laughs> are they? <laughs> We're old Navy having a sale or something. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ethan, you got dressed better, my man. See, this is this is why Mia left you for the fungus people. Ah, uh, here's the thing. Hello, maroon eye ring. That looks like the thing worth poking about for. It does. To the eyeball room. Da -la 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 -la. Eyeballs, 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 eyeballs. Stare, gaze. Whoa, shit. Is that? Fuck me, a vampire. I didn't even notice her. I was on an eyeball hype. Where's she going? Ah, uh, she's turning into bats. Or flies. Or she got too close to the garlic air freshener. Who knows? An eye shaped gem is loosely set in this ring. Looks like it'll come out with some effort. Effort? <laughs> Fuck off. Ah, oh, fine, fine. There we go, you pedantic fucking door. There'll be something good in here with all the effort I just expended. Oh, look, I found your fruit, ladies. You don't have to eat people no more. I did it. I saved the Resident Evil Village. Am I the man now? The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor and intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. It's kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Yeah, that's, that's real subtle. What's the Chablis called? Disappeared villager? What a lovely wine company you have here, miss. But I can't help but wonder why it's called Two Holes in the Neck of a Missing Virgin Limited. Oh, here's the courtyard key. That's for the door in the dining room, I'll wager. Anything in here? Drawings of skulls. They're not even that good. Proportions are shit. You're not good at everything, vampires. You're rude and your anatomy illustrations are subpar. And your rugs are all wrinkled. And your tea sets are shit. I'm watching you. Holy fuck. Careful, Crusaders. She can turn into flying dirt. She could be anywhere. I won't last until dinner. Oh shit. Fuck me, she's right there. <laughs> oh no, don't get my rags dirty! Count those crap that has got first on. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's that now, isn't it? I'm a garbage vampire too. Yes. Creeping me out, you fucking best of bitch. I'm off. I'm away. Fuck off! Save some meat for later. Your dinner's still on the table. No Ethan unless you eat your mains. Bloody hell. She weren't that tall, was she? I didn't see the oh. Oh, the so there's the big No, get off my neck, it's sore. <laughs> Well, oh, thanks for playing through our visual showcase. Thanks ever so for having your throat ripped out by beetle vampires, getting it through the guts from gender swap Freddy Krueger. Ta ever so. You're welcome, Capcom. Calling me intrigued. Throw Barry Burton in, and you've got to use a deal.